What is up you guys, it is Michael, your Monday guy, and I have curly hair, and this is FTN Transformers on YouTube. So we are back from our little hiatus we've had for the past two weeks, um, due to finals and holiday and all that stuff. And so now we're back, and of course, our topic for this week is um, our outlook on 2015. We're not really going to talk that much about 2014, but it's still pretty important, so we're going to talk about all the things. I think 2014 was a pretty good year for me. Um, lots of bad stuff happened in 2014, and so I'm I'm really positive about 2015 because I feel like the more mistakes I make in a previous year, the more um, things I can learn from and stuff and do better at in the next year. Some New Year's resolutions that I probably won't stick to, but will very hold on to for guidelines. I think that was a sentence. One, get a job. Two, save money with said job. Three. Start tea at some point during the frickin' year. Uh, hopefully, either before or on my 21st birthday. Four, make sure I'm equally loving all of my friends and maybe try and get them gifts and stuff to show them just how awesome they are. Five, and I know this is really cliche, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get in better shape than I am now. I'm kind of doing it right now and I'm liking it. And so hopefully I can stick with it and finally um, have a body pre t that I'm proud of. <laughs> I've always wanted abs, and this is my year, I'm telling you. I said it the past, like, three years, but I was in high school. I was, I hated life, you know, but now, got this. I got this. That's all the New Year's resolutions I can kind of come up with right now. Transition-wise, um, obviously, I, like I said, I want to start tea this year. Um, it's gonna be really hard with my parents and um, I'm trying still trying to still trying to figure out if I should just tell them when I'm gonna start it I plan on starting all of the like you know the prerequisites like going to the doctor getting blood drawn getting tested all these things making sure that I'm able to start steep to <laughs> making sure I'm able to start tea in the first place um, you know making sure there's no complications or anything because I don't know my family records I don't know if I'm prone to some weird thing with Hormones, I don't know. So I'm going to do that all by myself, hopefully with money that I get from my job that I'm going to get. <laughs> like, I have a friend who just started tea and didn't didn't tell their parents at all. And I was like, you can do that? But I'm like, I'm 20 years old. Like, God, I can't do anything without telling them or asking them something. So I might chicken out on that, but I might not. So we'll figure out how that goes when the time comes. Um, I'm getting a new binder once I go back to Arizona, um, so that'll be good. My current one's alright, but it's bothering me a lot, so i got to get a new one. Um, I'm going to get a tri-top again because those ones are my favorite versus this full body um, two-layer thing that I got. With said job that I get and with the saved money that I shall have, I'm going to start saving up for, for surgery probably. Just personally, for me, I want to save up about eight to ten thousand dollars, just because you know to make sure I cover everything, every possibility, every like accident, everything that could possibly happen, you know, stuff like that. Because wherever I am when I get surgery, it would be during the summertime, and so I'd probably either be in Arizona or in California or something. I have to pay for a plane flight to Florida because I want to get uh, Dr. Garamoni to do my surgery, which is anywhere from five to seven thousand dollars at any point in time because he changes his um his values a lot pay for a hotel to stay at while i'm there because it's an outpatient procedure but you have to stay there for like a week to make sure there's no like complications and then get like unwrapped and then all these things and stuff like that pay for a plane flight back to wherever i am and then you know pay for food and stuff like that and just any like unforeseen accidents or something like that and if there's another person with me you know i'd want to pay for their stuff or whatever. And then the last thing with, for my transition is I'm just trying to get um, better packers for myself, things that I like, things that are better, maybe some pack and plays that actually are like functional that won't like, you know, be destroyed from being in my pants for like three days or something, you know. I think that's all I got for you guys and I hope you guys look forward to the rest of this week's videos and we all have a good year coming into 2015 because I know it'll be awesome because we got you guys watching us and supporting us and all that jazz. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, blah, 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 blah. make sure you look at all of our media outlets. Um, we will like and follow you back. All of my videos always have all of our media outlets in the description box. Y'all should leave topics that you want us to see 
do anything, repeats, new topics, new things, new people. If you want to try out for us, you know, be a sub or be a, a double up day, because we did that in the past where we had two guys on every day and it was awesome. This has been Michael Mondays and I hope you guys stay beautiful.